What's up, gamers? Uh, Barnes here. <clears throat> this is a uh, response to uh, Clack Clack Bang, Gentlemen Gamers. What is old school gaming? Um, I'm assuming you know this is a spawned by old school renaissance in gaming. Um, gaming has seen a lot of innovations over the last few years, 10 years or so more. Um, a lot of things have changed. Um, presenting uh, new formats like computers, stuff like that, allowing people to play on Skype, uh, you know, um, other programs that exist for gaming. Um, kind of like the revival of the battle mat in uh, RPGs. You know, a lot of people are going to say, like, ah, oh, the battle mat's a new innovation. Well, that's not true. I mean, you know, battle mats and gaming have been around for a long time. And, uh, you know, I don't have any earlier ones of this, but this is the earliest one I have of the battle system, the uh, AD&D 2nd Edition. Um, <clears throat> though I didn't use a lot of miniatures uh, when I was younger, simply because I couldn't afford them, really. But um, in gaming, there was an old school renaissance that happened, uh, basically when the creators of D&D passed away, and Dungeons and Dragons had moved on to 4th edition. A lot of people went, uh, obviously there was edition wars, and people started to play older editions of Dra Dungeons and Dragons, and, you know, there was that sense. Um, another innovation in during gaming to me that, like, you know, it still feels new, but even though it's, like, not new at all, it's almost 20 years old, was, you know, um, White Wolf games. They came out with a lot of innovations. Uh, you know, Ed Hammered had mentioned they'd come out with some more social aspects, and they did. They had some more social aspects to their game. Um, and they pretty much bought skills to everybody, you know, priorly, for me at least, in my experience in Dungeons & Dragons, skills was pretty much the things that Thieves only had. But White Wolf changed that. I'm not the biggest White Wolf player, but I've played a few. Um, so, really, I think what he's talking about here is a feel. <clears throat> I think what he wants to know is what makes old school gaming feel like old school gaming to me. And what makes something feel like old school gaming to me, at least, is the idea that, yes, I can. As a player, I can. Whatever I want to do, I can. I can do that. I don't, I don't need to have that skill or that feat or whatever. Um, it also means, yes, I can as a GM. So, like, you know, and say, like, Pathfinder, which is a popular game today that I play, um, you need preparation some, sometimes to introduce an encounter. Like, it's, you know, like, if you just introduce an encounter and you, like, overlook something in this encounter, like, um, <clears throat> either in a uh, the physical layout of the encounter or maybe just the crunch aspects of the encounter, if you... If you don't have that, it's kind of difficult to run the encounter, and you may run it wrong, or not wrong, but it just may may not go the way that you expected it to go as a GM. If you have a lot less control with a lot more detail. Um, so for me, like, you know, Tim talks about like rules like games a lot, and uh, the rules like games have an old school feel to me. Um, I mean, that's it's the feeling that yeah. I can jump on my horse and try to shoot my bow <laughs> from horseback if I want to. Um, I don't need to have all these skills or whatever, or feats or powers or uh, mysteries or whatever, um, whatever they're called. But where I feel like a lot of like new games will block you from that, um, however they may have more detail in that specific area. So for me it's really a feel. Um, old school gaming is really a feel of whatever I can think of, that's what I can do, kind of like within reason. And same thing as a GM, like whatever I can think of, I can do. I don't need a lot of crunch. Um, so obviously for me, that's that's a big factor of old school gaming. Um, you know, I've mentioned in other videos, I'm not a big fan of electronic devices at the table. Some of my players use them, I tolerate it. Um, but. I mean, I'm not a big fan of it. I like books and candles, maybe. That'd be cool. <laughs> but I'll use electric light, whatever. But, um, yeah, so I'm not really a big fan of electronic devices. That kind of takes the old school feeling for me out. Um, not that I'm a, you know, fanboy of old school gaming or anything, but uh, <clears throat> to me, that's, that's the way it, it, it feels like. Old school game, gaming gave you a little bit more power to create, I think. Um, 
and make up stuff. Uh, it wasn't as defined, so things weren't as detailed, so you could, uh, within the rules, so you could do pretty much whatever you thought of within reason, as long as it made sense to you and everybody else in the group or whatever for your character. Um, and same with the GM, the GM can do whatever, whatever was within reason in that world, even if that meant that it would throw the party for a huge loop, um, it was within his means to, uh, you know, create a time warp without a lot of pre-thought to it, um, because there was less crunch. So that's what old school gaming means to me. Um, it's just the feeling of yes, I can. See y'all.